This video provides a demo tour of the Clearbox TACAX Plus Clearbox server. All features available in the product are demonstrated using the Clearbox Control Center. It's a Windows application that controls the product and lets you set it up using a graphic interface. Clearbox authentication and authorization capabilities are built around the Realm concept. A Realm is a set of rules for how a server should handle requests. You may configure several realms. Each time Clearbox receives a TACAX request, it picks up the best matching realm and uses its rules to handle the request. This brings maximum flexibility. First, let's get acquainted with realm configuration. There's the Authentication tab, where you can choose one of several identity providers, built-in Clearbox database, which is active by default after product installation. As an advantage, Clearbox offers tools to manage user accounts and groups stored there. Here's how you can add users and define their TACAX profiles. Actually, it's a compact relational MS access database, well suited to initial testing or small setups. It may be migrated to any mature SQL server, like MS SQL Server or MySQL. To manage the accounts, you can still use all those tools after this migration. Next, Clearbox allows quick and easy integration with Windows domains. Just specify the domain name, and you may authenticate users with their domain accounts. Furthermore, user access may be granted solely to members of a specified domain group. This type of authentication is only available when Clearbox is run on a domain member machine. More flexible integration with Microsoft Active Directory can be achieved with the next available authentication method, using LDAP connections. It is certainly not limited to Active Directory as it uses common LDAP syntax. With LDAP, you can authenticate with on-premises and cloud-based directories. Azure AD authentication is performed using Microsoft Intra-Domain Services, ADDS. LDAP authentication allows you to verify any user attribute, not just group membership. Finally, Clearbox provides flexible relational database integration. In addition to the built-in databases mentioned previously, it may leverage any existing database schema and use SQL commands or stored procedures for authentication. Say, you may build complex business logic and then call it from Clearbox. Clearbox needs just an ODBC driver and configured SQL scripts. For interactive logins, two-factor authentication may be activated. TOTP, time-based one-time passwords, requires a secret key to be known both to the server and a user's mobile application, like Google Authenticator. These secrets may be written to some database externally, or Clearbox offers secret provisioning to user smartphones via standard QR codes or copying specific URLs. As you see, two-factor authentication can be enabled for each realm. The next stage performed after authentication is authorization. This means that a user with an already proven identity should be granted some roles or resources. TACAX plus authorization can be described as a set of TACAX plus attribute value pairs that define user privileges or actions. The TACAX Plus server should accept what a user intends to do and possibly add extra attributes that better describe what the user can do in the system. 
A Realm can delegate these attribute calculations to the Clearbox built-in database, and this is applicable only to Realms where authentication uses the same database. The shown authorization configuration lets you specify per-user restrictions. A different approach is to establish a Realm Global policy where all attributes are the same for all requests handled in this Realm. Let's demonstrate how we may add privilege level to the Realm configuration. Clearbox pays special attention to per-command authorization. You may use regular expressions to list all allowed or denied to a user commands with masks and wildcards. Take Acts plus accounting is suited for recording what a user has done, say, what commands he has issued. Clearbox can write this data to files or relational databases. You may use SQL scripting to make any required data transformations. Finally, alerts may be enabled on a Realm level. Failed authentication attempts are reported to an administrator via syslog messages. Well, this is what one Realm can do. Now we demonstrate the power of multiple Realms and what we can accomplish with them. Assigning a user's privileges based on his membership in a domain group is a frequent task. Assume there are two groups one for the lowest access level and the other for privilege to CAX Plus users. We may do this easily with two realms. The first realm authorization is set up with the privilege level equals one null attribute, and the second realm is set up with the privilege level equals 15 attribute. And here, realm rules come into play. There are five types of rules, and in this example, we activate the rule by group membership. So the first realm with a low privilege set is activated when a user is a member of the operator's group. The second realm has the rule when a user is in the admin's group. In this setup, users who are neither operators nor administrators won't get access to a router. If we want all users except administrators to get low privilege access, then we disable the rule for the first low privilege realm and mark it as a default realm. If the second privileged realm rule is evaluated as false for a common user, then the default realm is chosen. There are too many things that the Clearbox server can do. This demo provides a brief overview of what Clearbox can offer in terms of TACAX Plus servers. You can send us your questions by email or write them in the comment section below.